Learning Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2108, select every third cell. Oh, this is a doozy. Cold Deep sends in a question, says he has data in E24 to BEV24, that's 1,500 cells. He needs to select every third cell. Writes a note, the union macro is too long and generates errors. What's he talking about, the union macro? He's talking about, he's already tried this, how to select every third cell. A little record a little macro here. Select this cell and then control keys, that cell, that cell, that cell, that cell, that cell. I don't need to go too far, I just want to see how they're recording the code. Stop recording, Alt F8, uh, how to select every third cell, edit, oh, and this is really bad. There's no magic way to select every third cell, you just have to list all 500 cells in there, which would take longer than selecting the 500 cells, right? Just pointless. Pointless, pointless, pointless that the macro recorder has no better way to do this. So I said uh, to Cold Deep, what we're going to have to do, the thing we have to leverage is special cells. I said, by any chance, is every third cell numeric and everything else is text? No, he says. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to a brand new row and put a one and then nothing, nothing. And I'm going to copy these three cells, those three cells like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end and select all of those cells. Now this is 1500 cells, which is a multiple of three and paste. And what that's going to do for me is it's going to give me every third cell is going to be uh, numeric like that. And the beautiful thing is uh, what we can do then is select from here, type BEV26 and I'll hold down the shift key when I click OK and that'll select to the end and then home, find and select go to special and I want the constants, click OK and what I've now done is I've managed to very quickly select every third cell. You say, well, what good is that? How do you nudge the selection up? Which is a great question, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch over to VBA, Alt F11, Alt F11, Control G and this beautiful little bit of code here from the selection, we're going to offset some number of rows down some number of columns over and select. All right, so looking at the data, I want to go up to Bill Jelen in E23. Actually, I want to go to Cold Deep in uh, E24, which is two rows up. So I'm going to say go up two rows, press enter, and that selection, which was every third cell, will now move up. Isn't that just awesome? And in fact, I wrote four little macros, one called move up, move down, move left, move right, because when I showed Cold Deep this method, he's like, oh no, there, there, there's 20 things I have to do. So here, we'll click the move up macro, which should move me up to row 23, and then the move right macro, the move right macro, move down, left, left, right? Look, we can just, we can, once we get that, that uh, thing in there, uh, we are really cool to be able to move things around. You know, and then from there, there was a whole bunch of other things Cold Deep wanted to do. He wanted to copy and paste special transpose somewhere else, right? And that's all uh, easy stuff, relatively. It's getting every third cell selected. Now, what I'm going to show you here, because I'm suspecting Cold Deep wants to do this all in a macro and doesn't want to have to do the steps again and again and again. And hey, I, I applaud that. That's awesome. Is I'm going to say to Cold Deep, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to select all of the cells. Where you want to select every third cell, I want you to select all the cells, like that, right? And then... Uh, we'll say, count how many columns we have, figure out where we started, and then figure out the next available row. And I'm using the used range to figure out where the last row is. I'm adding two rows to that. Uh, and so what that should do is just find a nice blank row down in row 27. Let's go take a look. And so 27 is a blank row. The code is going to put a 1 in column 5 of that blank row, and then it's going to copy three cells. So E, F, and G are the three cells that we're going to copy there, and we're going to copy it to the 1500 columns, which will generate a series of ones and blank, blank, one blank, blank, one blank, blank, all the way out to the end of our data. And then the special cells, this is home, find and select, go to special cells, choose the constants, dot select. All right, so now it's selected that data, and then we know that we want to go four rows up, and Bam, like that, it goes up, in this case, row 23, uh, Cold Deep wants row 24, adjust the code one bit, 
and then press the down arrow and we're good to go. That's the best way I have to do it. If anyone has a better method to select every third cell, watch this, probably some magic uh, cool way to do that or every other cell or every fourth cell, uh, by all means leave some comments down in the YouTube comments. Well, yeah, I haven't promoted the Power Excel with Mr. Excel book or the VBA with Macros book, either one. Uh, lots of great Excel tips and tricks in those books. Click that I in the top right hand corner to read more about the book. All right, so in this episode, Kuldeep wants to select every third cell for 1500 cells. He tried to write a macro to union all 500 cells, but it's too long and causes a compile error. So solution one, uh, build a three cell array with one blank blank. Copy those three cells and paste to 1500 cells. That creates a uh, range, a 1500 cell column wide range with one blank blank, one blank blank. Select the 1500 cells, find and select, go to special constants, selects every third cell, then that one line of VBA, selection dot offset dot select to move up some number of rows or columns or anything, and finally to add a VBA macro to do the whole thing. I want to thank Cole Deep for sending that question in, and I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.